Okay, welcome back everyone. This is part two of our Enderall Ender Ender gameplay walkthrough. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. It was a little crappy on quality. Hopefully this one is a little bit better. Um, made some settings and stuff a little different, so hopefully uh, it's a little better for you guys. Also, I think in the next episode I will switch to a controller. So it is not so loud for you guys, like when I click. Because um, watching the last video, I could understand where that's really annoying. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, what the fuck is this thing? It looks like if if you seen that picture of like that, uh, like the fucking mouse looking thing. It's fucking creepy as shit. Oh shit. Okay. Now would you look at that? You uh, get a lot. In the mountains. What brings you here, my sir? Uh. Who am I? Finn Deliris, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And so he you seems like a good dude. Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I. He's good. He's go. good. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. <laughs> no reason to worry. This guy was gonna beat my ass. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're you're standing here having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Pow, pow, pow. We pow, are pow, pow. Alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Unbelievable. <sighs> I'm a good guy, mate. Yeah, I'm a good guy. Carbos, as he lives and breathes. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Ah, <laughs> Riverville. Tickets. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Uh, what's wrong with my eyes? Mm, there's something mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I'll uh. examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. Right so equipment. If I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Uh, okay. Because maybe you caught something in that temple. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> us? Oh, nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. We gather herbs. You should stop by one day if you're in the area. Someone who scours period ruins and survives could surely be useful to the apothecary and help us find some things. Well, what can I tell you? This is the sun course. Okay, sorry I'm South going through all these dialogues, but I'm just area. I'm just trying to find Except some stuff out. All the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. And well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want an, to an adventurer. <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. <laughs> shady motherfuckers. A ruin south of it. <laughs> by the Black Guardian, my role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling. Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates our okay. place in society. I walk the path of the Erodites. And there's also <sighs> the man Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession. But, however, below does not mean that it is in any way inferior. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best. And who would know <sighs> better? In the folly of my youth, I might have thought about <sighs> it, yes. But then my back kind of hurts. I've been streaming and recording all day. So. To do with the desire to I apologize advance. if I look a little rough. I am interested in living the righteous path and to contribute to the preservation of my people. That's enough for me. 
and only the faithful will be granted the eternal pass upon death. Well, I didn't come up with it. Um. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. All right, thanks, mate. Wonder if, can I talk to you, Carlos? Still tomorrow, or can I clean all the tools? Place is Finn. I'm playing. Don't bother me. I guess that means no. <laughs> I guess the oh shit. By the righteous path. What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. I'm a little drunk. It looks like. Fever. Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. <laughs> it's like saying, uh, I got a flu. I think I still have some grunt roots. That should be enough to ease your pain. So one thing I really like about this game is it's. I feel like it's it's so much different from Skyrim. Remember to help the afflicted to whatever. Thank you. Grunt roots, grunt like the characters in this game are <laughs> are funny. I like them. I also will probably take off the webcam next time, just because I don't feel like it adds anything to the gameplay at all. You know, I actually might do it right now. There we go. What? Uh. What? Trippy as fuck. Hey, I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah, and you're paying for it. <laughs> Here I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. <laughs> this, it's See, like some shit in Skyrim. I don't know. See, you already look a lot better. Ah, Still, Jesus Christ. You should let the priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. Alright. Well, you mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, eh, whatever will be, will be. Uh, explosion. I'm not sure I'll follow. <laughs> oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dallas died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. Ha <laughs> ha. See, these two guys are funny as shit. Don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. Wait a second. Like the dialogue is just what was that? good. Oh god. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh shit! Uh, oh. The? Carbos. They've hit me. Finn. Those bastards. How do I stand up? No, Finn, no. Oh shit. I can't. God damn this game. Oh fuck, man. <laughs> Every time I think I'm going somewhere in this game, something else happens. Here we go, again. Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. And before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only uh. reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion drew you right into a thicket. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial, and I've already taken care of them. Your fever, though, is an entirely different story. Uh... Suffice it to say, I was on the perimeter. And no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered like crazy. And two, I'm in a happy relationship with my entrails. 
Oh. I wish I had a more heroic answer for you, but I don't. Sorry. Um. Yep. All right. Well, uh, good guy Jesper. I like those other two guys, and of course they fucking die. That pisses me off. We're ten minutes into this part two, and all I've done is talk to people. I apologize. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with magic. Oh. First, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, you'll find yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs at everything that moves. Uh. You lose your mind, to speak plain and all. Yes, of course. Though someone who's magically gifted will always react differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. Huh. Among other things, yes. Just as being magically gifted can make a person powerful, it can also make them sensitive and prone to certain conditions. Just don't overdo it sleeping in ruins or in the wilderness. Instead, set up a camp somewhere. Plus, as you've already said yourself, don't overdo it with potions. Huh. What? No. That won't help you in the long run. What you need is ambrosia, a special mixture of herbs that can remedy the fever. I hope you guys can't hear that, because that's really annoying. Oh, that's a fucking kick in the dick. Nah, <laughs> peace weed. <laughs> that's a good name for it. happened mate oh okay well at least we get to skip the story <laughs> took all night everyone I've met so far has died in this game good this game looks though. Like, this is ridiculous. This, I'm so excited to like have a Skyrim type thing just modded out to shit. I tried doing that earlier and after I heard about Ender I was just like, thank god. If I can put like 20 hours into this, I'd be so happy. Especially since it's free, you know what I mean? But we'll, we'll try to make this episode. Shitty, mate. Yeah, the 
sick, tired of shit, man. So, other than like reading and listening, I feel like this is pretty. This is pretty boring. Or what is a magister? Dang, this tackles some deep shit. Jesus Christ. And unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. Well, I'm not exactly one for vows, no steadily, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialties were covering things that have been lost, treasures, they want to know how a highly intelligent man like Yero would fall victim to the red man, and also if there's a discernible pattern on this malady or whatever it is. True, but that's what I meant. Yero grew up in a small village named so, the dialogue in this game I think is freaking awesome. Skyrim stuff is pretty rough, Oblivion's is even pretty rough. But like, these guys took a shitload of time ugh, on this dialogue. That's cool. So the more stars, the harder it is, basically. Let's see if we just want to find the strong box here or whatever. Oh, there we go. That down there looks pretty cool. Oh, fuck! Goddamn wolf! Hey! Ha! Fuck yeah. Those are gonna be my uh, my thumbnails. This is when I kill when I kill something with a badass uh Uh so maybe I should take a look at my map. Ah look at that. Okay, so looks like I have some Damn mate. Long ass way to travel. Oh so this I assume that's probably the direction I go, right? There's the R quest gate. But well, guess we'll just head that way. See what's up here. Oh yeah, this is where those this is where my bros got killed back here. to pay attention to my gotcha beach um 
gives me some armor, so that's good he was by himself. Or we might have got wrecked. Um there's Finn. I'll take the arrows. Tend to use those quite a lot. Um, that looks like it's about it for them. Probably read that later. There's Carbos. Might need that for something later. Let's drop. Uh, I think I have my old sword on me. Let's go ahead and. Uh, oh, no. No. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll, fig I'll figure that stuff out for later. Um, probably nothing over there. I don't think there's a way for me to go anywhere back there. Maybe I should go in here and check some stuff out. And then we'll begin we'll begin our journey hmm. it looks like cages and stuff that's probably gonna be useful make sure we didn't Fucking moss crawler bastard! Burning hell, you son of a bitch! Do I have anything that will make. Should probably heal up some more. Um, ah. I died. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, at least I know what's coming and I know what to do now. Maybe I can kind of cheese this asshole. Skyrim school of fighting right here. Ow, ya bitch. I mean, this is how I would fight a spider in real life. Like, if I was a giant spider, I would probably not try and fight him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know what I mean? I just wouldn't do it. You gotta be smarter than the spider. Spider venom, I feel like, is pretty... I could probably... Um, put some clothes on, maybe? Probably a light armor type guy. Which I feel like it's fine, you know? I wanna take that hat just in case. Maybe that shield. 
Do I have any? Is there something here? I don't understand exactly. Okay, well, whatever. There wasn't as much here as I was hoping for, so I'm sorry that I died. Um, next episode, or maybe at the end of this episode, I'm going to figure out how to make some favorites or something. Something to help me not dick around with menus while I'm in combat, you know. I feel like that would be pretty beneficial, but you know how it goes. There we go. Alright, well, let's head back the way we came from. Let's go ahead and bust out the longbow. Now, I don't know if there's a sprint button. I don't... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. I hit the Z key. I did. Arcane interference. Arcane... Oh, okay. It's the skill trees. Okay. That's cool as shit. I'm probably going to be over here. I'm probably going to be... Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. That's cool. So, infantry or devious. Okay, I'll mess with this stuff later. That's freaking cool. Okay, so that thing is like the warrior, mage, and the rogue type classes. Stuff like that that you do when you're in the Z, which is rather than have like a skill menu, you go to that island to level up. That's cool. Now that we understand that concept, probably end this here pretty soon. Um, maybe we'll go fight something on the way, or I don't know. So, uh, yeah, look. Let me know how long, like if you guys are watching these, let me know how long a video is you guys want to see. I know sometimes when I'm watching Let's Plays, I like, you know, depending on the game, I want a half an hour one, maybe I want an hour of it long videos. It really just depends on the game and the commentator. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's a little, a little buggy shooting shit out of my hands. Oh fuck, this goat gonna fight me. But anyways, yeah, look, you guys let me know uh, how long a videos you guys want to see and then we'll try to uh, try to accommodate for as many people as we can um, I can't obviously I can't just go like that for everybody but if if some people in the comments would like uh, you know longer videos then we'll do that or we could do like shorter oh shit or we could do shorter, like, 15-minute highlight videos, you know? I wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that where I just play for, like, an hour or two and then just put, like, my fights in, my dialogue, just cut out the menu stuff, you know, stuff like that. Boom! Got him in the chest. All right. 
so yeah let me know what you guys think about that um, I will keep working on these videos um, slowly but surely this is a series that I want to take my time with uh, I will be doing a lot of different stuff so I will not be rushing this this series whatsoever so um, I love you guys I hope you guys enjoy this um, I'll catch you on the next one maybe the next one will be shorter maybe it will be longer but uh, make sure you let me know what you guys want to see uh, maybe we'll oh shit how the hell did he see me up there right, I'm gonna fight this guy real quick But hopefully I kill a wolf in every episode so I can make that my thumbnail. Shit. I am starting to get a little weak. Hopefully he's got a bed for me to sleep in. Got him. Woo! I thought he killed me for a second. I was going to be really sad. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Cool. See, so you got like a little bed here or something I can sleep on. Uh, it's got some coins I can have. Alright, so let's, uh, let's take a little nap ski. My health is replenished. We will explore the beach and begin our quest uh, next time. Thank you guys. Peace.